is Matt Yankovic. I'm the Director of Engineering. As a part of NATM's Trailer Safety Week, we're going to run through uh, storing your trailer and trailer maintenance in this video. If you're going to be storing your trailer for a long period of time, it's a great opportunity to do some basic maintenance on your trailer. First off, never park underneath a tree. Falling limbs and debris can easily damage a trailer's roof. Second, store your trailer with your tongue up. This helps shed water, ice, snow, leaves, and whatever else may accumulate on top of your roof. Starting at the coupler, you can take your insert, place it in the coupler, and make sure that it's adjusted properly. You should never need a hammer to get the safety latch to engage. If you do need to adjust the safety latch, we recommend you take it to one of our professionals. You can also add grease to the coupling as that will help increase the length of the ball and the coupler. Moving back to the plug, we want to make sure that the plug is off of the ground. Make sure that there is no dirt or debris built up in the electrical connection. We can look at the breakaway battery. We want to make sure that there is no corrosion on any of the terminals. We need to take it out and make sure that we're charging the battery on a regular basis. On your safety chains, you want to inspect for any damaged links and make sure that the safety links are still operational. If your trailer has any vents, either in the roof or on the sidewalls, you want to be sure that those vents are open during storage. Condensation can build up on the inside of your trailer, which leads to mold. If your tongue starts to develop any sort of rust spot, be sure to treat those spots accordingly with touch-up paint. If your frame starts to develop any sort of rust spots, those spots need to be touched up with undercoat. When talking about axles, wheels, and tires, there's a couple key things to consider. First off, make sure that your axle bearings are greased on a regular basis. This can be done by removing this dust cap cover. You also need to look underneath your trailer for any components that show signs of excessive wear. For wheels and tires, look at the tread, see if there's any abnormal wear patterns, such as the inside of the tire getting worn faster than the outside, or vice versa. As always, be sure to check your wheels lug nut values on a regular basis, as these need continual maintenance. The last item that needs attention are your rear and side entry doors. On the back, a light coat of WD-40 on the latches will prolong the life. Be sure to grease your barrel hinges on all ramp doors. When it comes to rear and side entry doors, there are a couple of items you need to look for. At the top of the door, there's a drip rail that needs to have a thin bead of silicone running along the top to prevent the water from running off the roof and right inside your trailer. Around the perimeter of the door, there needs to be a continuous line of weather stripping. You can inspect the ramp cables for any signs of fraying or damage, and those need to be replaced immediately. If you're going to be storing your trailer for long periods of time, consider putting your trailer on jack stands to alleviate the weight off of the tires. Also add tire covers to protect them from UV rays. Lastly, wash your trailer. Just like your vehicle, your trailer will look better and last longer if you wash it. If you have any comments or questions on this video, please reach out to us on social media.